I know how you feel, little buddy. <laughs> That's a wonderful place where everything can become a reality. Where its inhabitants have lived in peace for a long time. This place is called Illusoria. However, dark times threaten the world from the sky. Oh no, look at those! Five streaks of lead. The Empress's Royal Advisor observes five stars cutting through the sky. Team Four Star. <laughs> According to ancient prophecy, this is the signal that precedes the Puppet Master's arrival. Oh my god. We better be careful. He immediately went to see the current Empress, his niece Amelia. So he's like that weird, creepy uncle. The royal family has feared this omen for many years. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ocarina of Time for no reason other than a stained glass window. <laughs> Churches remind me of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> the evil puppet master is coming to corrupt and destroy the world and the inhabitants of Illusoria. Illusoria. What a, what a name. What a name it is. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Jerome tried to soothe the Empress, reminding her that a hero able to tackle the puppet master will also appear. The Guardian of the Flame. Oh. That must be me, the Guardian of the Flame. With determination, he must find the orbs before the Puppet Master's influence swallows everything. Ooh, the orbs. Show me your orbs, girl. God. I think she's 12. Whoops. But she's an Empress. She's old enough. When will this hero of Illusoria show up? He's here. Hello. My name is Dayton Does, friends. I am uh, your humble narrator, Brandon Dayton. And uh, we are here to play some... Illusoria, which uh, should be a relatively fun time, I suppose. They've got some nice controller support. That's always a good thing. Only my controller's not working at the moment, so um, maybe they don't have controller support. Hello? Anyone? Something going on? Fuck this. There we go. I can move now. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Illusoria. A relatively uh, strange puzzle platforming game. I guess puzzle platform is what I'd call it. Um, there's not a whole lot of enemies or excitement to be had, if you want me to be completely honest. And for $10, I don't necessarily think this game is 100% worth it, uh, unless you really enjoy rage games and the like. This game does require a lot of pixel-perfect platforming to get through, um, which is obviously pretty frustrating. Especially uh, for, you know, a game that doesn't allow you to control your direction in midair or anything like that. So, if you fuck up a jump, guess what? You fucked it up. You're dead. And the uh, save system is not extremely generous either. A lot of times you'll find yourself uh, going back to the, the beginning of the level. I think that um, if I died around here, I would go back all the way to the beginning of the game, which is not nice. Not nice at all. So I'll hit the switch. We'll uh, explore this cavern just a little bit. The controls do seem kind of clunky, which I don't necessarily enjoy. It takes just a second to uh, grab on the ledges and pull your character up and things like that. I think it could be streamlined a lot more. So avoid this mosquito. Basically anything in this game will uh, one hit kill you, including those giant fucking plants that we saw a little earlier. So trying not to do that. I don't think this mosquito can get all the way down here. Um, the game starts out extremely easy, as most games do, but then you'll find yourself... Oh god. Please go away. <laughs> then you'll find yourself, uh, it, you know, in, in the midst of a, a rage quit, almost. A lot of uh, things in this game don't seem quite fair sometimes, and uh, we'll talk about that when we get to it, surely. The art style is not extremely impressive. It feels kind of like one of those Game Maker games. You know, something, uh, not Game Maker, RPG Maker. <laughs> game Maker games can be fucking awesome. I'm not gonna not Game Maker. That shit is some nice software. Um, but yeah. It's extremely hard to, uh, get into the game with, uh, an art style that seems as amateurish as this one. I'm sure the, uh, the art direction, you know, tried pretty hard and things like that. And you can tell there was a lot of love put into the game because they put uh, secret passages and things like this quite nice. Um, but yeah, it just feels like something integral is missing in the game. And uh, I don't know if that's, you know, the force, the four, 
the four animation run cycle or what? Here's a lost doll. I got an achievement for finding that, so that's super nice. It says something on the walls that I can't quite read. I might get a little bit more invested into the lore if they uh, bothered to make the writing on the walls legible at all. Maybe it is in Elvish or something like that. Maybe they wrote it in Klingon. Book, lock, book! <laughs> something like that. I don't know. But up is not the way to go, apparently, so we are going to go down. Those things look like they will spit. Yes, indeed. Indeed they do. So we just need to avoid that. And, um... So far, so good. Not so difficult. But, um... We will see in just a short little while how mean this fucking game can be. There we go. Some nice pixel-perfect platforming. And here we are at, at the part that, uh basically made me rage quit in the last episode, so we're going to see if we can do a little better. Got to wait for that thing to spit. All right, wait for that thing to spit. Very good. The rocks don't seem to be killing me quite yet. This uh, reminds me a lot of that the end of the cave level from Aladdin, you know what I'm talking about? Don't pull yourself up until that thing spits. Okay. We did this relatively easily this time. Last time I was just, uh, about pulling my hair out. Oh god. Go, go, you little bastard, go! Faster! Faster, faster, faster! Oh my god. Oh my god. And I died. Awesome! But I, uh, I got through that a lot more smoothly than the uh, last time I tried to do this. Really frustrating, um, platforming and stuff like that, especially because the controls don't seem as responsive as they should. I definitely would like them to be tightened up, and then the game would be something that, you know, I'd consider spending $10 on. Probably more around the, the price range of $5 or something like that would be a little more fair. But it does offer a good amount of, uh, of gameage for what you get if you enjoy the, uh, the puzzle platforming kind of thing. And generally I do, but um, the controls have to be a lot tighter for me to be like, yes, everybody go and get this now. And at the moment, it's just uh, not seeming that way. Jump! Jump, you little fuck! Alright. Wonderfully done. Oh my god. I was pretty sure I was going to eat shit again. <laughs> it's interesting to me how close you can get to the, uh, the edge of the screen when the rocks are coming. It seems like they should kill you a lot earlier than they do, but yeah, it's basically just like those fixed scrolling screens for Mario, except if you hit the less left edge, then you die. Ah, oh, that was close, boy. I've been poking you with a stick for a while to wake you up. Are you ever gonna wake up? Get up, boy! Oh, check out that funky groove. It's like uh, 80s porno music. Oh my god, look how terrible the character portrait looks. Yeah. The character portrait does fit in with the art style in that it is uh, not particularly well animated. It, it gives off a very amateurish vibe, which is fine, but I probably would have uh, liked to see a little more put into it. You know, hire somebody. It's not that hard. Um, <laughs> you gotta pay them, yeah, but uh, your game will look much better for it. Welcome to Reality Boy! My name's Michael, how you doing? Not too talkative, are ya? You aren't very communicative. Yep, that's what I said. You're in the presence of the great Michael Engwivik. Engwivik. One of Elisori's best astronomers. What am I saying? Elisori's best astronomer, followed closely by my brother, but that's between you and me. I'm also a great inventor, scientist, biologist, astronaut, geologist, hmm, paleontologist, economist, taxidermist, cook, and much more. I'm really off-put also by how the uh, portrait keeps switching sides. I notice that it's when he's on the left or right side of the screen, but I don't think that's a, a very good idea. If the character's talking to you, just, just leave it on the right side, that's fine. I'll understand that it's still the same character, okay? You must have heard of me, right? Huh? Uh, well, it looks like the afternoon turned out nice. Yeah, whatever. I think it's best I introduce you to my brother. He's a little extravagant, but don't let his appearance scare you. Please follow me to the camp. Okay. I'll follow this guy with a four animation walk cycle, just like me. Just like me! And look, they have the same necklace, except one is just the same thing flipped upside down. Lazy, lazy, lazy. <laughs> Wolfie, brother, we have a visitor! You know I hate when you call me Wolfie. Sorry, boy, my name's Wolfgang Angwood, astronomer and philosopher. You seem to have got away with that. 
The earthquake caused part of the ruins of the ancient tar fire where you were to, to collapse. Said cave and has destroyed part of Illusorious history. Saw an object fall rapidly from the sky and crash on the forest. La la la. La 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 Okay, so they're like, our telescope broke. It's not the Hubble, it's the Humple. But you need to get three golden cogs or something like that. And then uh, we gotta find this lift or something. Damn mosquitoes! I brought the usual repellent, but it doesn't seem to affect them lately. Three have stung me already, and one tried to fly me away. How can they be so strong to lift someone up off the ground? I can't believe I said that. Warren. Who are you, Warren? What do you want with me? I'm just a little boy, wandering some caves and things like this. Obviously, the uh, environment doesn't change up that much. You're either going to be wandering through a cave or a verdant forest for the majority of this game. And uh, let's avoid these fucking things again. So far, so good. Um, I did have a little bit of difficulty earlier, but that difficulty seems to have passed for the most part. So let's uh, pop this baby. Open up that shit up there. And a little... Oh god! I didn't do that at all. I did not hit the jump button even once. Okay, sure, whatever. Send me back, you fucking piece of crap. <laughs> Uh, I hate to be so harsh on this game. Obviously, you know, somebody spent a lot of time and effort to make a game such as this. But, uh, it's definitely not my cup of tea. I'm going to say that right now, so... Take anything that I say with, uh, a grain of salt. Please do not jump again. I don't know why you jumped the last time, you little fuck. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why this? Uh, obviously there should be some sort of music or ticking to indicate a timer on that door. But yeah, this game is missing a lot of the basics. Oh my god. So here we go. <laughs> We've come to the difficult part. Uh, directly after you run through the Aladdin cave, which was really difficult for me the first time around. Mostly due to the controls, I will be completely honest. Holy shit, what, what the fuck... What was that? <sighs> what just happened? Oh, man. I'm not sure why I want to run to the right so bad. There is a, a left corridor as well. And I assume even another corridor that we could explore. But first, I'm going to have to fucking find my way through this garbage. There oh, my God. Please fucking no. No, no, no. I'm not hitting the jump button. I don't know if pushing up makes you jump. Or if the controller support is just extremely wonky. I'm trying to make myself jump again just now. Is it my controller? I don't think it's my controller. I've never experienced this problem before, so... I'm gonna go down the left path since the right one seems to be full of shit. And uh, hopefully we'll find something that's a bit easier to, uh, to deal with. Mosquitoes? Not so bad. Oh god. Fuck. The death animations are kind of cool. I like that uh, little kid getting stabbed through the eye by a mosquito. That's pretty badass. But uh, this doesn't seem like a wonderful dreamland like I was promised in the intro. Up, up, up. There we go. Alright. How about... How about this? Oh god. Jesus. Fuck. Do I get a double jump at some point? Is, is that what I'm supposed to be getting down the other path? All I got told about was the three cogs, so um, I guess I'm going to go down this path again. It's either dying by the door or dying by the mosquito, so your pick, your choice. Go ahead and uh, make your decision. How do you want to die? I prefer dying by the mosquito because it's like a sentient being and shit. What the fuck? Is there... Do you hold up and like... Yeah, this game is just so wonky. Please don't pay $10 for this. If It's on sale now for 5 and uh, I think that's relatively okay. But, um, yeah. I've not been having a good time with Illusoria thus far. If you enjoy rage games and things like that, there are a lot better ones out there. Um, I would suggest Super Meat Boy or something like that that uh, gives you a bit more control over your jumps and... Obviously a bit more control over your character as well, because this is, uh, fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And this mosquito's not gonna path over here anytime soon. I can tell. I can tell. Yeah. How's this gonna work? It's not. That's the answer. 
Oh god. I don't understand anything anymore. Hopefully... Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot to jump. That time it was my fault. Okay. I'll give you that, Illusoria. I really just want to see what's beyond the mosquito and the fucking smashy mystery door. But, uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Which will give out first? My patience or, uh... Yeah, it's probably gonna be my patience. If you want me to be quite honest. Okay, just, just close the door again. Close the fucking door. I'm not dealing with this. Okay, can we open it again? Wonderful. We're winning! Now we're winning! Okay, go. Alright. And the door comes down on the other side too, so please watch out for that. I'm absolutely shocked I didn't just die! <sighs> oh my god! This game... Ugh, extremely difficult because of the controls, for the most part. So, um... That is my verdict. It seems really amateurish, and, um, I'm definitely not a fan. I'm sure it will find an audience, as most games tend to do, but, uh, it's not for me. I will say that with extreme conviction. Oh god. And I made the jump, but I still got stabbed by the eye and the mosquito. Anyways, oh, Illusoria, what am I gonna do with you? Probably let you rot at the bottom of my Steam library. For, uh, for all time. That sounds like a good plan. I like that plan. And I'm trying to duck or, like, stay away from the mosquito. But if he's... If he's too high up, I get fucked. If he's too low down, I get fucked. So I guess the... The correct thing is down this path somewhere. If I can keep myself from getting screwed. Basically, the only reason I died down here last time was because I got a little nervous of the, the wonky jumping controls. Alright, here we go. Run through. Please don't die. Please don't die from the door. Okay. Alright. So if we could just take this one step at a time, everything's gonna be great. There we go. We made it. Here's another screen. We did it, friends. There's a golden cog. How do I get it? I don't fucking know. I guess I jump, and then probably die. We'll see. Oh! Whoopsie-daisy. And these fucking mosquitoes everywhere. Kill me with just one hit. I mean, I can stand one-hit deaths in a game. I'm not too fragile for that shit. But, um... The controls have to be tight, you know? Hotline Miami. One of my favorite games ever, ever. Um, but that was mostly because... You knew that the buttons were going to work if you needed them to. If you died, you mostly felt like it was your fault and not the game's. Uh, please go away, mosquito. We're making some progress here, I suppose. That's kind of nice after uh, quite a bit of derping about. And there, a golden cog. Oh, golden cog! Alright. If I can avoid the mosquito, I don't want to get stabbed in the face. Oh god. Please forward. There we go. See what I mean? Little wonky. Little wonky there. And then, can I just push this back, I guess? I thought there was going to be an entrance, uh, or exit after I got the golden cog and it would just be like, Good job! We've saved your progress, but I fear that that is not the case in this game. I fear it. I almost know it in my heart to be true. So we're just gonna we're just gonna head back down this way. I'll use the blocks as cover because that seems to work. The other mosquito was able to grab me off the ground, so I'm not sure why these ones are not able to. But um, I'm counting my blessings. Please don't, you fuck. All right, everything's fine. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Upsy Daisy, come on, one more time. And then I guess we have to jump across this thing. Which, it's hard to tell if it's, uh... If you're gonna make it or not. Hmm. I guess... I guess he's reaching his hands up far enough. If he can get to this one, then he can get to the other one, right? Right? Yeah! Thank fucking god. Oh, and there's one on the bottom, too. Please do be careful! 
We've got many creatures here ready to kill you. There's all three at the same time, so we're gonna go. Whoop! There, just a little timing. Keep your head on a swivel. That's what you gotta do in Illusoria, tell you what. Alright. And the, uh, the balls of exploding death can get you while they're still on the ground. It's like, oh god, fuck! Oh god, Jesus. Okay, alright. We're fine. Cool, great, awesome. Oh. Hey! We got two of these bullshits. So let's hit this switch. And then it'll probably let us go through that door. I don't know if it's timed again because there's no music or any indication of the door being timed. Yep, it's time. Awesome. So, uh, I gotta make it through here somehow. I don't understand. It's gonna be extremely difficult. I'll probably end up dying, and then, uh, I'll call it quits. I'll be like, you know what, Illusoria? It's been fun, but fuck yourself. <laughs> so, friends, if it looks like a game you'd enjoy, um, I'm not gonna knock you for that. A lot of people have a lot of different tastes. This game definitely was not within mine. Um, I would like to see it tightened up a whole, whole lot. Maybe the animations and art style reworked. And then I will possibly revisit it if that is something that people would like to see. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. If you would like to see some more, I would be, uh, well, not happy. But I will subject myself to some more for you guys if that is something that you would like to see. Um, yeah. Overall, pretty disappointed with Illusoria. I would uh, recommend that you don't drop $10 on it, but hey, it's your money. So uh, check out the link in the description if it looks like something that you can't stay away from. Me, personally, I'm, I'm going to see it rot probably at the bottom of my Steam library, which is a shame, you know, but if the game gets reworked and updated and revamped, then who knows? It could become something great. At the moment, it's, uh, it's one that I'd definitely say give a pass. Just pass. It's fine. It's fine. You don't need to have every game. Especially not this one. <laughs> Anyways, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Likes, comments, subscriptions. Always, always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there, which is extremely important, because we're trying to grow. We're trying for world domination right over here. And uh, maybe someday we'll, we'll get close. Probably not, though. Anyways, <laughs> I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.